Iran has successfully launched its first rocket into space. The head of Iran's Aerospace Research Center, Mohsen Bahrami, said the rocket was carrying material intended for research created by the Ministries of Science and Defense. That was the announcement delivered on Iranian state TV by the head of Iran's space program, and it implied that Iran has managed to manufacture its own satellite launcher. And those who can manufacture a satellite launcher can also make an international ballistic missile capable of hitting Europe. A Tehran University expert even went so far as to say a satellite was launched. Basically, what has been launched uh, is uh, a satellite which could be used uh, for uh, civil communication. But two hours later, an announcement was made which dismissed all of that and said Iran had only launched a scientific research rocket to an altitude of 150 kilometers and not a satellite nor launcher. Here is a picture of the rocket. It seems that there is an internal dispute between two Iranian agencies, the Revolutionary Guards, who are responsible for the missile program, and the Defense Ministry. It seems that Iran has yet to develop a satellite launcher, but it is definitely on its way. Two years ago, the Russians launched the satellite, built for the Iranians, and Iran has stated its intention to launch four more in the coming years. I think that it is clear that Iran is developing long-range ballistic missiles, certainly able to reach Israel, then to reach Europe, ultimately the United States. Europe seems indifferent to the developments in Iran, although they could threaten it too. And in face of this indifference, the Iranian president announced that his nation's nuclear program was like a runaway locomotive, which no one can stop.